In this video, we are going to discuss the derivative of the logarithm. And uh, we will also have some sample problems so that we could apply the formula for the derivative of the logarithm. So we will uh, study two formulas, just two. So first, we have the uh, derivative of uh, ln u. Now, ln is uh, natural, it, has, it is a logarithm of the natural base. So that's why it's uh, ln. So that is equal to the derivative of your u with respect to x all over u. Okay? So this is the logarithm of u base e. But uh, the shortcut notation would be ln u. Some would say ln u, but I don't use that. Okay, I, also, I say ln u. And then number two, we have the derivative of the logarithm of uh, u base 10. So here in the first formula, you have uh, e as your base. In the second formula, you have 10 as your base. And uh, it's very similar. You just uh, have m times the derivative of u with respect to x all over u. So what is m? m is called the modulus of the common system. Modulus of the common system. And uh, it is equal to the logarithm of e base 10. So you can just go ahead and calculate that. But uh, for the formula's sake, no, we will not write this anymore, but instead just write m. Okay? So let's go ahead and uh, answer some example problems. So problem number one, we have uh, y is equal to the logarithm of sine x over a. So we have to get the first derivative of uh, our given function. So derivative of y with respect to x or y prime. So we will use here the formula for the uh, logarithm to with the base of 10. So we have m times the derivative of our u. So our u here is sine x over a and then over u. And u is sine x over a. Now what is the uh, derivative of sine? So the derivative of sine is uh, simply cosine x over a. What is the derivative of your x over a? It is 1 over a. So over sine x over a. Now, finally, if you will simplify cosine theta over so sine theta, in this case cosine x over a over sine x over a, then that would be cotangent. So final answer is m over a times cotangent x over a. Okay? Problem number two. So we have here w is equal to the uh, natural logarithm of uh, a squared minus x squared. So a here is constant. Constant. So we are to get the derivative of w with respect to x. Now since this, uh, this is uh, ln, no? so it's simply the derivative of uh, a squared minus x squared with respect to x over a squared minus x squared. So what is the derivative of your uh, a squared minus x squared? a squared is constant. Negative x squared is negative 2x over a squared minus x squared. Now let's say for problem number 3, we uh, would have a squared minus uh, x squared raised to 1 half. One half. Let's uh, take this. This. this uh, well, let's take problem number two on a notch higher. No. So derivative of w with respect to x will now be the derivative with respect to x of a squared minus x squared raised to one half. So that is your u derivative of your u, and then over u a squared minus x squared. So what is the derivative of this one? So we apply uh, u raised to n. So we have uh, 1 half a squared minus x squared and then 1 half minus 1. This is equal to, uh, that is equal to negative x squared and then derivative of your uh, a squared minus x squared is negative 2x. We have answered that a while ago over a squared minus x squared. Now, so notice here this is your u, okay? 
that's your use so I should put also a one half there I should post po uh, I should also put here uh, one half so do not forget that your u your u is the square root of a squared minus x squared so kasama yung one half so simplify this so we can cancel out here your one half and two and uh, let's go to our final answer your uh, since both of these will have the same base have the same base and uh, this will go to the denominator and it is negative one half so it will become positive one half and one half plus one half is equal to one so for the final answer we'll have uh, negative x over a squared minus x squared so that is your uh, derivative of w with respect to x okay so let's go to our problem number four so problem number four we have x is equal to ln of uh, 1 plus t squared over 1 minus t squared so this is our u our u here is 1 plus t squared over 1 minus t squared okay so let's get the derivative of x with respect to t so first the derivative of uh, the u which is 1 plus t squared over 1 minus t squared let's just follow the formula over the u itself 1 plus t squared over 1 minus t squared so what we'll do here is we'll get the derivative of our uh, u which is in the form of quotient so we have 1 minus t squared derivative of uh, 1 plus t squared that's uh, simply 2t and then minus uh, 1 plus t squared then derivative of 1 minus t squared is negative 2t okay so all over 1 minus t squared squared and then over your u 1 plus t squared over 1 minus t squared so what we can do here anticipating that the denominator will be multiplied to the numerator and uh, if, it, if it will be multiplied then it will be uh, reciprocal okay so let's do the reciprocal 1 minus t squared over 1 plus t squared and then let's multiply that to our numerator so here we have uh, 2t minus 2t cubed and then uh, you have here negative times negative so that would be positive okay so it's like you're multiplying positive 2t so plus 2t plus 2t cubed okay and then over 1 minus t squared quantity 1 minus t squared uh, squared okay so we can cancel out some uh, terms here we have uh, 2t cubed and then we can also cancel out this one 1 minus t squared because that is square okay so if we simplify we'll have 1 plus t squared times 1 minus t squared for the denominator and then in the numerator we have 2t plus 2t that is equal to 4t so that would be our final answer let's go to uh, our example number 5 so we have y is equal to the natural logarithm of the square root of 1 plus sine x all over 1 minus uh, sine x so we have y prime or the derivative of u with respect to x so we have the derivative with respect to x of 1 plus sine x over 1 minus sine x raised to 1 half and then square root of 1 plus sine x over 1 minus sine x so similar to what we did in the uh, previous problem no so the only difference is that our u has uh, one half so what we will apply here first is uh, the power formula so we have one half one plus sine x over one minus sine x so this is uh, raised to negative one half and then derivative of uh, one plus sine x over one minus sine x so you will apply there the derivative of a uh, quotient so one minus sine x then derivative of 1 plus sine x so that is uh, cosine x minus 1 plus sine x then derivative of negative sine x so that is negative cosine x okay 
And then all over 1 minus sin x squared. Okay, and then we have here the square root of over the square root of 1 plus sin x over 1 minus sin x. So, remember guys that this is uh, multiplied to each other. Okay, so if I will uh, put this, this one, 1 plus sin x over 1 minus sin x, that's raised to negative 1 half. So that would go to the denominator. So therefore, if that would go to the denominator, and this is square root of, that is also raised to 1 half, then therefore, the denominator will become uh, 1 plus sin x over 1 minus sin x because uh, it, will be, it will now be uh, 1 half plus 1 half. And then you have here 1 half. Okay. And let's just try to simplify here the derivative of our the derivative of our uh, quotient, which is 1 plus sin x over 1 minus sin x. So we have cosine x minus sin x cosine x. Okay. So here, this is negative, uh, negative cosine x. And then we have here an, a negative 1 as well. So that will be negative times negative is uh, positive. So plus cosine x plus sine x cosine x. Okay. So we can cancel out some, uh, some terms. So this is uh, cancelled. And then we have, we will have now. So let's just go to the uh, next page. Just go to the next page. Okay, so what we'll do uh, first the denominator, the denominator here we'll put it in the uh, numerator. So we'll do the reciprocal, and then of course we will write one half. Then the reciprocal of the denominator is one minus sine x over one plus sine x. Okay, and then we have one minus sine x as uh, our denominator. 1 minus sine, 1 minus sine x quantity squared. Okay? And then here, we have 2 cosine x. Oops. 2 cosine x. So we can cancel out 2 for uh, 1 half. And then, let's continue simplifying. We can also cancel out, oh, I forgot to cancel out, this one, 1 minus sine x by this one. Okay, so in the numerator, we simply have cosine x. In the denominator, we have 1 plus sine x times 1 minus sine x, and that would be 1 minus sine square x. Now, 1 minus sine square x, remember that uh, from our Pythagorean uh, identities of a trigonometric function, we have sine square theta plus cosine square theta is equal to 1. Therefore, 1 minus sine square x is equal to cosine square x. So we have cosine x over cosine square x. So of course, cancel that. It will simply be 1 over cosine. And our answer for the first derivative or y prime is simply second x. Okay? So for our last example, we will uh, solve an implicit function with the combination of uh, the derivative of uh, logarithm. And also we have here the derivative of, uh, we have here also a inverse trigonometric function, so it would involve the derivative of uh, an inverse trigonometric function. Okay, so we will combine three concepts here in this problem number six. So problem number 6, we have uh, uh, ln of uh, x squared plus y squared plus 4 arc tangent y over x is equal to c. Okay, so for our first for our first term, we have the derivative with respect to x of x squared plus y squared all over x squared plus y squared. And then we have 4, derivative of arc tangent is uh, the derivative of uh, y over x with respect to x over 1 plus u squared. So let's just put this as y squared all over, uh, over x squared. So
So, and then, we know that the derivative of a uh, constant is 0. So, let's continue solving. Derivative of x squared plus y squared. So, derivative of x squared with respect to x is 2x. Plus, derivative of y squared is 2y, y prime. And then, over u. So, we simply have to copy that. And then, we have 4 times the derivative of y over x. So, we will apply quotient rule. We have x, y prime, minus y times derivative of x is 1 over x squared. And then, let's uh, simplify this one. Let's uh, get the LCD of uh, the terms here. So, we have x squared and then x squared plus y squared. So, that is equal to 0. So, let's continue simplifying until we can solve for y prime. So, we have 2x plus 2yy prime over x squared plus y squared plus, so here, uh, similar to what we do in the previous uh, examples, no? The denominator, we will put it in the numerator and let's get the reciprocal. So that would be x squared plus y squared. Then multiplied by, we have 4, and then we have x, y prime, minus y over x squared, then equals to 0. So we can see that we can cancel out here x squared over x squared, so that is 1. So let's... Uh, you see, you see now here that uh, they would have the same denominator. So therefore, our uh, we can combine. We can actually combine zero. Okay, let me change the pen. So we'll have uh, zero is equal to. So again, our denominator is uh, x squared plus y squared x squared plus y squared, we can combine the two, just like combining uh, simple fractions. So we have 2x plus 2yy prime, 2x plus 2yy prime, 2yy prime. Okay, and then we have plus 4xy prime minus 4y. 4xy prime minus 4y. So, the denominator here can simply be uh, can simply be uh, multiplied to 0. So, we'll now have 2x plus 2yy prime plus 4xy prime minus 4y. And then, if we will... Uh, get the two terms with y prime and the two terms with no y prime on the other side will have 4y minus 2x is equal to so this is y prime let's uh, factor out actually 2y prime so we'll have y plus 2x okay here on this side we have uh, we can also factor out uh, 2 so we'll have y Sorry, it would be 2y minus x so is equal to 2y prime y plus 2x. So we can cancel out 2 and finally y prime is obtained by simply 2y minus x over y plus 2x. So that's it for uh, the video. Thank you for watching.